A few years ago, during a training session I was leading for managers on how to hire and onboard effectively, I asked the participants to tell me what it's really like to work at their sites. I asked them to honestly describe, in one sentence, what employees experience day in and day out. One of the participants raised her hand and said, we are a team of seven doing the work of 11 in a space built for five. Everyone in the room smiled and nodded and agreed that in one sentence, she had captured what it was really like to work there. And that one sentence just might be the difference between hiring a rock star for your team or hiring the wrong person altogether. I'll tell you more in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Have you ever interviewed for a job only to arrive and find that it bore no resemblance to the job you were expecting? I bet you felt angry or duped. I bet it significantly impacted your engagement in that position. In our constant quest to staff sites quickly and with the strongest possible performers, it is common for interviewers to paint a rosy picture of the job role and work environment. At the very least, we shy away from sharing details that might turn off a potential hire. This whitewashing not only works against us during the recruitment process, but it sets up the new hire to experience a variety of negative emotions shortly after starting, especially if they're going to be working in a challenging environment. But what if, instead, you told the unvarnished truth? What if, during interviews with candidates, you laid out exactly what was both good and challenging about the role? Imagine telling a candidate that they would have to be able to serve multiple demanding physicians who yell a lot, or that they would rarely get their choice of shift in their first year because of seniority and scheduling. Imagine saying in an interview, look, the phone rings nonstop and the voices on the other end can be nasty. I need someone with a positive attitude and a thick skin. Will the unsanitized truth push some candidates away? Of course, but you don't want those folks. If the truth scares them, they wouldn't be the right fit for the job anyway. But when a candidate hears the truth and accepts the position anyway, they come into the role with their eyes wide open. They know what to expect. You also begin to earn their respect early because you were unflinchingly honest with them. When that office manager said, we are a team of seven doing the work of 11 in a space built for five, I asked her if she would ever use that description when describing the environment to a candidate for employment. She hesitated, admitting that her reluctance came from knowing that it might turn off a good candidate. However, it didn't take long for everyone in the room, including that manager, to realize how powerful her honest description would be in finding the right person to join her team. So, do what your mom always told you to do. Tell the truth. There's an entire chapter on hiring and onboarding intentionally in my book, Cure for the Common Leader, along with six other key strategies to create engaging workplaces. By the way, I'd love to hear your one sentence description of what it's like to work where you work. Share your thoughts in the comments box below, good, bad, or ugly. See you next time.